Hi all, Chris here and I've got a little telly which was given to me by my grandparents. Here it is, a little um, 12 inch AWA portable that is amalgamated wireless Australasia. And it's in pretty good condition. It just needs a lot of cleaning. And it's got a little crack here and some little rubs over here but I've been it's in pretty remarkable shape. And This is always a good sign to see on a product made in Australia. And a little high voltage warning here. Unfortunately the um, model number's worn off so if anybody happens to know what that is I'd be most grateful. And when I first was looking at it this was a good sign to see on the bottom because since the um, repair technicians have recommended using mini watt valves, that obviously means it isn't solid state. It uses valves, so that's a first for me. So I can finally and proudly say I own something which runs on vacuum tubes. So here it is. I've already taken the screws out. Well, I wouldn't really call them screws, they're just little plastic things which screw on over threaded um, over threaded bolts and here we go inside of this thing full of valves and I'm not sure how many there are I'll just do a quick count actually I believe there's 12 valves that is excluding the CRT and there's a couple of power ones. This one, I believe, may be a bit, may have a bit of an issue because the um, getter material on the top of it's not quite as silvery as it should be. It's gone kind of a funny, opaquey, whitey colour. You can kind of see. I'm not, I'm not sure if that would be indicating a loss of vacuum because it's. Um, it's still functioning and it isn't a really pure white it's more of just a light smoky grey colour but nevertheless and it's it's got yeah it's got a whole bunch of valves um, a lot of them triodes and similar ones like these little ones AWV Super Radiotron Tubes This one here is a What is it? A free EH7 I don't know an awful lot about um, I know a little bit about valves but I don't know an awful lot about um, the circuits therein and tellies and radios I'd use in but I think I may have a spare one of these around somewhere it's, I should have remembered to look at what it was. It's a 6CM5. It's a power valve, I think. And this one over here. What is this one? It's a... Oh, I don't know what this one is. The best I can find on it is U8, but that's certainly not a type number. Oh. I've got a few spares of those ones floating around. Yeah, it's a cool little telly. It's very nice. I've never owned a valve telly before, so it's was a. I was expecting. My grandpa told me over the phone that it was going to be a white portable, so I was expecting something kind of like my little pie over there, just a, another white pie. But instead it's pure awesome. So, yep, that certainly made my day and made the walk to my grandparents' house through the rain worth it. So, as I say, I'm a very happy chappy. Now, let's fire this thing up. <coughs> <coughs> Now 
and it takes a little while from when you turn it on for the picture tube to um, start to produce an image so I'll just do a count and you can sort of see the filaments in the vacuum tubes starting to light up um, so that definitely means there's power going through it and here you can start to hear the faint whine of um, the flyback and you'll notice that the picture isn't covering the proper screen, uh, isn't covering the screen properly I've adjusted all the controls, I've adjusted the um, vertical, linearity, height, vertical holes, you name it I've tried it and <coughs> it yields no results so um, I believe that this is probably an issue with a tube bearing in mind I don't have a lot of experience with these things but and you can also hear there's a crackling sound coming from the anode and shouldn't be making that but don't know why it is so any advice on that's particularly welcome and it's got a small circuit board mounted on the side and it's also got a little issue with the volume just the slightest adjustment and you can hear, you can hear that I believe that might be a um, valve in a bad valve in the audio stage. Um, and the the crackling of the anode starting to gradually get duller. You can't hear it as well. But yeah, it's a nice little set. So I'm really happy with that, even if it needs a bit of attention. I'm very happy to finally have a tube set. And um, yeah. And it's cool seeing it here with all the valves glowing and even the CRT in this thing is glowing pretty brightly. I've, I haven't noticed the filaments in any of my other CRTs glowing quite like that. So, yeah. Here it is. And also of note, just looking down there, I don't know how or why it's doing it, but you can just see down there just under the 4 on the um, deflection core that it's sort of a you can see some colour there, it almost looks like there's some phosphor on there which is glowing I don't know how but that's a bit weird anyways it's not happening anywhere else, just in that one little stripe so, and you can hear the crackling of the anodes almost stopped so, yeah, anyways, and I'll just quickly adjust the knobs on the back of this thing, the tuning knobs, and I'll show you what um, it does, like trying to fix the image. So, first of course I'll try the vertical hold. That doesn't do an awful lot of good. Next I'll try the vertical linearity. And it's still not doing an awful lot of good. Next for height. It's barely doing anything at all. You can kind of see it's having some effect on the bottom there. Not much. Now for the top linearity. That's not doing a single blooming thing at all. So, yeah. There it is. And there's also a little, another little tuning thing, uh, what does it say, IFAGG, I'm not quite sure what that stands for, 
but I recognise that AGG control from my national from my national tally and there's a, another one so any input as to what those do would be much appreciated so yeah well if you've got any questions comments or suggestions just post them under this video or send me an email I'll be glad to hear from you cheers Chris